Hello, how are you? It is Friday, March 27th, and I need to tell a very, very special little girl happy birthday. Kelsey, I want you to know I'm thinking about you, and I hope that you are having a wonderful fifth birthday. Five is a big deal. So, happy birthday from me and from everyone watching. I know that we all hope you have a great day. So, also, whenever it's Friday, we always say what? It's Friday! Woo woo! So, I hope everyone watching is having a good day, no matter what day you're watching this on, and enjoying something in nature, hopefully. Remember, we were talking yesterday about how it's springtime now. So, I have another outdoor book for you. This book is called Around the Pond. Who's been there? Who's been here? So this book is about paying attention and observing things in nature when you're out and about. Around the pond, who's been here? Let's see. It is warm and muggy on this summer afternoon. Cammy says William, mom says if we pick enough blueberries, we can make a pie for dinner. Let's go, says Cammy. All right. So here's Cammy and William. And there's the dog. Maybe we'll learn the dog's name too. Cammy and her brother grab their berry containers and follow the old deer path that circles the pond. A dead sugar maple stands alone by the water's edge. White feathers are stuck to the bark around a hole. Who's been here? So they're noticing up in the hole there. There's some feathers that are stuck. Who do you think it could be? Who's been there? Two baby wood ducks. Sam finds a stick. Okay, so their dog's name is Sam. He wants someone to throw it. Not now, Sam, William says. We've got to pick blueberries. Their dog lies down on the soft sphagnum moss. William, look at this footprint, says Cammy. Who's been here? Do you see the little footprint right there? What kind of animal do you think may have left that? Oh, what's that? A baby raccoon. Raccoon's hands look a lot like your hands. A tree has fallen across the path and into the pond. William dangles his feet in the water. He sees a shallow crater on the sandy bottom. Who's been here? Do you see that a crater is like a space that's down into the earth. So he sees a shallow crater. Shallow's not very deep. A sunfish. So sunfish lay on their sides in the, in the sand, in the water, and they do that to camouflage themselves. Cammie and William reach a patch of swamp azalea. They see a pile of branches and mud. Who's been here? Do you see all the branches? What animal could have done that? What do you think? What do you think it is? A beaver. We've talked about beavers in our class before. Do you remember what color their teeth are? We learned that a beaver's teeth are orange. Bits of broken shell lie on the sunny bank. The children stop to take a closer look. William picks up a piece of shell. It is soft. Who's been here? Do you see the shell right here? Pieces of shell. What kind of animals come out of shells? A painted terrapin. It's like a painted turtle. And they lay eggs. Cammy and her brother stop in front of a large blueberry bush. They pick and eat. Sam likes blueberries too. Cammy points to a long filmy shape caught on the branches. Do you see this right here? What does that look like? 
who's been here? Look at the dog. Sam's enjoying some blueberries. A garter snake. So snakes shed their skin as they grow. So that's what they saw in the tree was the skin that it shed. Sam wades into the pond and takes a drink. A red-winged blackbird scolds from a nearby branch. A large gray feather floats next to a lily pad. Do you see the big feather right there? That's a really big feather. Who's been here? A great blue heron. Oh, and look, it looks like it caught some food. They swoop down into the water and they catch fish. The pond is quiet and still. The late afternoon sky turns pink. Let's go wading, says Cammy. The mud is soft and squishy. Look at all the mussel shells, says William. Who's been here? Look, something has been eating the mussels. An otter. Did you see the otter? Have you ever seen an otter before? There's different kinds of otters, so this would be a river otter. There's also otters that live in the ocean. Cammie and William reach the dock. They have eaten most of their blueberries. But look, two full pails of berries are waiting for them. Who's been here? They know. Come and join us, calls their father, and in they go. Alright, that's that one. So it's it's not quite warm enough yet for us to be going swimming outside, but it's coming closer. It's warm today here in Virginia. What's the weather like where you're at? And pretty soon it'll be summertime. It'll be time to maybe go in the ponds and rivers and swimming pools. So I hope that you are making some fun plans for when the warm weather comes. And I also hope that just like they did in our book here that when you are out you are observing nature that you are looking all around for maybe signs of different animals and critters and insects that have been around and you can tell me about it um, in the comments and as I've been told to tell you before please like and subscribe to my videos I hope you're enjoying them I hope you have a wonderful weekend with your family and that you're doing fun things I miss you and I love you. More videos next week. All right. Bye.